video we are going to uh, make a connection between mac.com and whatsapp and google sheet such that you know the message that we send from whatsapp can be stored in the google sheet and we can retrieve those data and store in google sheet you know for future references so let's get started just click on this and then search for whatsapp oh it's already there for me because i recently used it so and then just click on watch event here you just need to create a webhook so just click on add and then create a token kind of a token is kind of a password and then click the message event and save and it will generate you the webhook just click on that and save it now you just have to go to the developers.facebook.com account which I have created already in my case but you also can create and then in this space you just have to go to on the left hand side you just have to go to watch app and click on configuration which actually is this space itself and then You have to paste whatever you have copied from here. I mean like this, copy this, okay. Whatever you copy from here, will go there and paste in the callback URL. And what was the token? The token was Apple, sorry, Apple, is it correct? Yeah, Apple, one, two, and then down here you need to subscribe to the message button so others are already un unsubscribed this one is the only one that subscribe and then save verify and save so now we have create connection with whatsapp and you know uh, mac.com so once this is done you need to create another connection with google sheet so click on add a row and here in my Google Drive, I have already created a Excel sheet that has three entries, WhatsApp number, name, and message, and you know, this thing. So just come here and then click on search by path, then select my drive and spreadsheet ID. You have to click on this and it will load and watch up. See, I, I have to select and click on seat number one and then here you have whatsapp number name and messages and message which is there in the excel sheet which you have already defined is shown here now click on this whatsapp number you want to you want to get the number of the person who sent you a whatsapp message so it will be like you know maybe contact profile okay watch your id and then name you can even go to contact profile okay name is there and then you want to get the message right so the message you can go down there and get text message and get the body of the message which contains the main important information and then you just have to save it done now the connection is done so once this connection is done positively we can run this so it is running and then now you can send a message to the from your number to the other one so let it be like okay oh, sorry so you just have to send a number i'm sending an, a message to the number okay your your this thing i mean your facebook.developers.com the number is should be coming but it's not coming here uh if you go to api setup
okay my number is expired actually i need to create a new number this number is unregistered so actually i will be sending a message to this number i will be sending a message to this number but the thing is it is now it was valid for some few time and it didn't work now it's not gonna work but actually what happened is that if you send from your number to this number you know whatever message you send will come here the number which you send will also appear here the name will also appear here and the message will appear here so actually it should be working so next time I will create another account I mean like enter a new phone number and then you know uh, show a new demonstration so thank you for watching this video i'm sorry i will upload another again okay thank you